Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6 tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the HTTP request and a form. Occasionally developers may need to fetch an instance of the ongoing HTTP request. Okay, in Laravel 6.2 we can obtain uh, so by using a request class in our controller. Okay, so this will automatically fetch the incoming HTTP request instance. So let's see some usage of HTTP request. So just go to the project and open controller. So just click app HTTP and now click on user controller. Okay. You can notice that uh, illuminate HTTP request. Okay. Uh, is already attached to all the controllers that we create with artisan command. All right. Now we can use the request class inside our controller. So add here request as, uh, and uh, here dollar request. Okay. And now just return here a dollar request arrow and here method. Okay. Now save the file and check it on the browser. So switch to the browser and just here type uh, dollar users sorry slash users and press enter. Now you can see here requested method uh, which is a gate is showing here. Okay. All right. Now see the request path method. Okay path method uh, returns the requested path information. So go to the project and just remove this method and add here path. Okay. And now save the file. Just switch, uh, switch to the browser and refresh the file. Okay. It shows users. Okay. Which is a URL path. Now another request method is a URL uh, which is used to retrieve the URL from the incoming request. Okay. So let's see the URL method. So just type here URL and just save this file and now switch to the browser and refresh this page. Okay. Now you can see here URL which is a localhost 8000 slash users. If I had some query a string uh, add here some query a string just question mark and suppose name is equal to Jennifer and M percent ace is equal to suppose 25 24 and just press enter you can see here query a string is in not saying uh, showing okay so for showing the complete URL with the query a string, uh, then use full URL method. Okay. So just type here full U in capital letter RL. Okay. Just save the file and <clears throat> now refresh the page. Okay. You can see here full URL with query a string. Okay. All right. Now we can uh, going to see how can we use form in Laravel. So for sending a request to the server. So for that we will just create a view. Go to the resource folder and just uh, where is the resource folder? This okay. And just uh, click on right click on view and click on new file. Okay. And type here view name. Just say, uh, let's say view name is login dot blade dot php. Press enter. Now create a controller and route. Switch to the command prompt and just type here php artisan uh, make colon controller and here controller name which is login controller. Okay, now press the enter. Okay, see here login uh, control is created successfully. Now switch to the 
login controller okay now just add here a method which is public function and index function name index okay and just start the curly bracket and in uh, close the curly bracket and just return here a view and pass here the view name which is login okay and here is spelling mistake okay now save the file and now create the route for this view so just go to the view folder uh, sorry route folder and click on wave.php file okay now just type here route dot get and here is the URI which is login and then type here controller name which is the login controller and at the rate and pass here the method name which is index okay now save this route file web.php file now open the login view and just type here HTML5 boilerplate so type uh, just type here HTML5 and press tab here now add the title here which is login and inside the body just add the form okay before adding the form for the styling purpose I am just going to add bootstrap for CDN so for that go to the bootstrap official website let's go to the browser open Google and uh, search here bootstrap 4 now click enter just click on first link okay now click here and from here just copy this CSS okay and put inside the head tag just paste here now switch to the bootstrap official site and copy this JS and put inside uh, put just before the body closing body tag okay okay all right so just paste here uh, press the tab to align okay now press enter just save the file okay now bootstrap 4 added in our project now we can use the bootstrap 4 class so just here add section okay and give some padding so you just style tag and just here padding top so let's see 100 pixel and now container which is a bootstrap for class and row and now create column which is 6 and give some offset offset 3 press enter ok now create a card here card header heading and heading note head heading and put here h5 tag and just title login okay now card body press tab and just press enter okay inside the body just add a form so for that switch to the bootstrap again and just here search here forms click on forms and just to scroll the page little bit and now click on here just copy the HTML code and now paste here 
Okay. Now <clears throat> make some changes here. So just remove this checkbox from here. So just remove it. Now save the file and here give the input uh, email field. Just give the name here email or oh, spelling mistake email okay and here uh, name is equal to password now save the file okay it looks good now then uh, go to the login controller and here create a method for login submit so just uh, type here public function and here method name login submit okay curly bracket start and close and just here return a, a string which is form submitted okay now save the file and also create a route for this so just open web.php file and press enter and uh, here is the missing ok just type here route uh, post here and here sorry this is the URS which is login and now type here with uh, controller name which is login controller at the rate method name method name is login submit so just copy this method and uh, now paste here also give the name here so just type here name inside the name type here login dot submit okay this is a route name now save the web.php file now switch <coughs> switch to the login view and uh, add here method method is a post and here just type row uh, action okay action is just type here curly bracket one more curly bracket and route and here put route name which is login dot submit okay now save the file one more thing which is uh, more important uh, for the laravel form that is at the rate uh, csrf okay without adding this we cannot able to submit the form so just add here at the rate csrf now save the file okay and now run so go to the browser and just type here login okay oh, okay you can see here the form okay and here some fill uh, some fill data suppose just I'm putting here test mail at the rate gmail.com okay and password is one two three four five six okay now submit the form now you can see form is submitted okay you may also retrieve all of the input data as an array using the all method so for that just add to the login controller uh, here so first of all add here a request dollar request and just here remove this string and type here request sorry request arrow all okay uh, 
and now save the file now resubmit the form okay <clears throat> you can see uh, the token uh, email id and password token comes from dot uh, at the rate csrf field okay and now you can also get individual request input by using the request input method so for that just type here suppose name is equal to uh, Jennifer okay and now remove this and just pass here Uh, sorry, just uh, type here email is equal to dollar request arrow input and inside the input just part the just pass a uh, field name which is email. Okay, now terminate this line another field is password so just type here password and here request arrow input and type here the field name which is password okay now return here just pass array and uh, inside the array you can type here email arrow and then put the email variable here comma password and here put the arrow and just give the uh, just put here variable password variable okay now remove this blank line just to save this controller and now resubmit the form you can see here email name email and password okay so in this way you can grab the input data from the request all right so that's all about the laravel http request and forms so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box so don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching